And here we are, coming up to Guardian Rock. There she stands. That's Guardian Rock right there. See some interesting whirlpools forming in the water there every once in a while. It's, uh, this would be an exceedingly fun place to uh, raft down, I would think. But um, anyway, yeah, Guardian Rock. I don't know why it's named Guardian Rock other than that maybe it guards this river. But it reminds me that we have a guardian rock. The Lord, the Lord is our rock, our refuge, our strong tower, our shelter. Amen. Psalm 61, hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee, when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for thou hast been a shelter for me, and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wings. Sila. You know, as we made it here to the summit of this trail, it just offers an amazing view of the land. You can get a real lay of the land from up here. A good, a good view. And that reminds me of the Bible, of the scriptures. And how God has given us this amazing aerial view of the history of man, the earth, sin, how it all began, how we began, and how he saved us and how it's all going to end. It's just a blessing to have that kind of a view and that kind of knowledge. Otherwise, when you're way down there at the level of the creek, you can't really see anything but the walls on either side of you. But with scriptures, we get a little glimpse of the full plan of salvation. Amen. Psalm 25, 4. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Psalm 119, 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Amen. Amen for the God who reveals the path through his word. Praise God.